Hej Daniela. Hello everyone. Right, I'll bring in our co-founder, Hedvig Linda. Hope you're all enjoying inside now. Hello, Hedvig. Just connecting. <laughs> okay, it's taking its time. Sorry, guys. I heard Hedwig very briefly. Maybe we'll try it again in just two sets. Hello, Hedvig, you there? Should you come in? Oh, there we go. Here we go. This is a good start. Hello. No, I think it works. Yes, I can see you. Yes. Hey. How lovely. How are you doing? Uh, I'm uh, doing well, thank you. In uh, in Spain, it's very hot. Yes, I was yes. Uh, I was there for 18 months, and August is going to be horrible. I'm just going to warn you now. <laughs> yeah, they say it's going to be warmer, <laughs> yeah. but it's nice so far. Yeah, it's beautiful though. Like I, the good thing is, you just know you're going to have sun. So, and it's perfect for me, who has a uh, <laughs> body full of uh, or. With no pigment, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I read that I sort of thing. So, um, I have a little bit of vitiligo as well. My mother has it. Um, my gran had it. She has it worse than me, but I have it like on my like elbows and knees and things like that. Yeah. And like armpits. It, yeah, it's uh, one or two percent of the world's population that has it. So, we're many. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for taking some time out of your uh, hurried move to Spain. No. It's fine. It's getting. Uh, it's, it's starting to be more uh, easy now. Like we have unpacked most, and it's actually a free weekend now. So. Oh, that's cool. It's fine. Yeah, and you went to the stadium already. Yes, uh, we went there on. I think it was Tuesday yeah. uh, to have the tour, the official tour, and be on the pitch to yeah. see, and imagine how it could be to play there one day, maybe with the with the women's team as well. Um, yeah, it was nice. Really beautiful stadium and the area around it. Yeah, yeah. It's um, I I was there. I had a season ticket for when they started playing there. So I was there for two years or two seasons with a season ticket, and it was ah. incredible. Like seeing it, seeing it grow and change in those in those two seasons. And I'm yeah. glad I'm not there now. But yeah, you, you'll get to enjoy I think, it. I think it's amazing that I happened to sign for your favorite uh, team. If I understand correctly. Yes, that would be correct. Yeah. Um, it is, yes. it's, it's very fortuitous for me, I feel, um, more so than you, but yeah, <laughs> well, I know, I mean, it's good, it's a, it's a, they're a great team. Um, yeah. I could go on and on about that, but we'll maybe save that for another time. <laughs> yes, I <do>. But <laughs> I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the Olympics, because obviously we have, okay, yeah. we have this jersey from, from Rio in 2016. And yes. I wanted to... You know, what was Rio like compared to, because I believe you were at the London and Greece Olympics, is that correct as well? Uh, yes, and Beijing as well. In Beijing uh, as well. So, so I've been in a few. Um, what was London like? Oh, sorry, Rio we're talking Rio, about. Rio, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, it was amazing. Um, of course, uh, I have a good feeling because uh, we ended second in the end, so we got to play the final. But it was an amazing story. That's, it's way too long to take now in a short lives uh, <laughs> session. But that's, I, need to, I think I need to do an uh, IGTV uh, yes. uh, video about that one because it's a long and really interesting and fun story. Yeah. From how we barely didn't make it we, in, the, in the qualifications, we just... It was so close; we wouldn't have been qualified at all, and we lost 
to Brazil 5-1 in the group stage and then end up uh, beating Brazil later on in a semi-final. So, uh, it, a lot of twists and turns, but uh, I loved it. I felt like I connected so much with the, the spectators, maybe for the first time in the in my experience of the women's game. Yeah. And <laughs> I have my kid here. So. <laughs> um, and uh, I was something special for sure. And I, to this day, uh, quite quite just a second, Nate. Quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of years later. It's still the occasion, uh, occasional comment uh, on my social media from oh, I saw you and play in Brazil and I'm, I'm yeah. from Brazil and all of these things. That's amazing because it was at the Maracanã, right? It was in the, the, uh, the, yeah, the famous. We played, we played at the Maracanã. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's, that's that must have been that must have been incredible. Just out of yeah. out of all the places, I guess all the Olympics. That one is probably a such a such a landmark. Yeah, for sure. It, it, you realize how much history is connected to that that arena, especially. So it's an honor to play there. Yeah, oh, that's amazing. Um, I was going to say that you must have, yeah, you must have. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> um, beating Brazil and USA to get to that final. You must have thought we've probably got this. Um, oh, you know, uh, it's Germany left. <laughs> you never <laughs> think you got this when you beat uh, when you're playing Germany, but. Um, no, but it was a really tough, tough way there. Uh, first, uh, the Americans in the quarterfinal, which have never, ever in history gone out that early in the, in, in yeah, come here. Uh, in in uh, they've never gone out that early in a in a big tournament like this. So that is historic to do that, and then. Um, and then they play against Brazil in their home court. And, yeah. Now it's a lot of history made there and uh, amazing memories. Yeah. And and H and M making the shirt as well. So it wasn't it wasn't Adidas like normally it was H and M. So. Uh... It was H and M. Um, sorry, <laughs> we're in the car. It's no, it's okay. Uh, it was H and M who was our sponsor at that Olympics. I'm I'm not sure how long. If they're still, or if they, I'm not sure how that works, but it's the Swedish Olympic Committee that has yeah. the, that has all the um, sponsorship rights for the Olympics. Uh, so then we have to kind of go with the, whoever is the current sponsor. There. <laughs> Nathan, you have to sit still and wait a little bit. This is real life, okay? <laughs> this is really life. Um, yeah. are, the, are the kids enjoying Spain so far? Um, I think so. They were a bit worried about the heat, uh, but I think they're ready for it and taking it on very well, considering yeah. we're moving a lot and one year in Germany before that in England and now Spain. So they're being troopers, I would say. That's cool. It's, I think getting to see a lot of countries in a young age is great. Um, yeah. you know, I live on the coast in England and we used to go to France quite a lot as a kid and it really it, you know, it really made me want to travel more as an adult. So, yeah. but yeah, that's yeah. It. Hopefully, we instill some sort of uh, curiosity for other cultures, and uh, mm. hopefully, they know a lot of languages after our adventures uh, come to an end. And yeah, then it's time to follow follow in their footsteps instead. So. Yeah, exactly. It'd be nice to have some jerseys to hand down to them and yeah. to tell the stories attached to that. Yeah, you have to. You have to keep a few of them then. Stop donating them to. to, I, to the I will company. have to. Keep a few. I will have to keep a few. Uh, yeah. Just a second, Timothy. Can you open this one? Can you open this one? Thank you. Yeah. This is real life, people. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're a, you're a working footballer, a, a mother, and a, and a and a wife. You know, you've got you've got a lot of things on your plate, and and I do. You know, it's great. Like I think it's it's. Um, inspiring to many different people for different you know juggling lots of different roles and i i might yeah. be wrong but i believe you're the only player at atletico with a young family yeah right now for sure i think but yeah. i don't know how it, how it's been like historically yeah um, but it's it's unfortunately not so common for female footballers to have a family while you're being uh, active yeah it's uh, something that is happening i think in the world right now that the the debate or the conversation has started about how we need to put some principles in place in how to support women if they want to 
to have a family and still keep playing and stuff. So yeah, hopefully we're we're getting there as when the game becomes more and more professional. Yeah, and well, that's great. That's yeah. Um, yeah, it's you're a role model for so many. Um, and I don't want to say like legend status because you're still playing, but you you have a statue in Sweden. You know, like that's pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That is crazy. Yeah, that, that was amazing to be honored with that and uh, to somehow leave a legacy for someone. And there's, it's so important to tell the stories, I think, to, yeah. to, to the young ones and to anyone who wants to listen, really, because um, I think that's what's been lacking in the women's game for so long. No one was there to tell the story. But yeah. now, hopefully, there are a few that stay and remain in the game so we can be better at storytelling and you know great dreams for someone to follow and yeah those things um I'm just uh, here in uh, atletico i met the uh, uh lola one of the directors yeah. and listening to her story has been amazing uh, so uh, you might know it already as a, an, an, an atletico fan but i didn't and I, I i won't tell it now but for those of you who are interested that's a really really interesting story to take part of as well how it all started in this club and what she's done personally to kind of invest before yeah. anyone really cared. And yeah, it's uh, lots of really, really interesting stories out there that needs to be told. So I think what we're doing right now is touching on some, you know, the yeah. My Olympic story, but uh, all these jerseys that we're trying to uh, uh, get a new home, home for. <laughs> I see. Uh, uh, they all tell a story. It's, uh, it's yeah. great to. I would like to film my young son right now. <laughs> he's, he's using the fan in the car, and uh, he's very sad. <laughs> but we we have a little policy that we're not uh, that we're not um, sharing them in social media. We think they have the rights for their own privacy. Yeah, they understand what it's about. That's fair enough. So. You're probably the only person I know that isn't showing pictures of their kids on Instagram. <laughs> I know it's uh, it's more rare to not do it, but uh, we're trying to as long as we can. That's really cool. Um, I won't keep you too much longer because I appreciate you're in the car. But um, I met Lola um, in Manchester at the um, the away leg of this season's Champions League game, um, yeah. and very briefly met her. And her friend gave me an Atletico pin because I think I was the only one of about four Atletico fans in the stadium in Manchester on a very yeah. cold night. Um, yeah. But yeah, so she was very kind to come over and say hello, and I just yeah. like hello. <laughs> Yeah, and I've been very well uh, taken care of my first week. I've just been there a week, um, but yeah, sure, it's the beginning and everyone is nice, but they've really made an effort in the small details of uh, trying to like make me feel valued and at home. And I I can see why you like the club, Yeah, honestly. like It's a really familiar uh, club who takes care of its members in, a, in an impressive way. Yeah. So, so far, so good. Hope it stays this way. Yeah, of course it will. I mean, yeah, there, there, there's so many great players on there and so many more players that have come in in the last couple of seasons. Um, so, yeah, it must be an exciting time, especially because your former team is the one that keeps beating Atletico in the Champions League. So, yeah. both both past seasons. Um, but, yeah, I was just going to say, yeah, you know, this is this is we've got this till Wednesday. People can still put, um, can still donate. And then after yeah. that, we'll, we'll draw it on next Sunday. So, um, yeah, I won't keep you too much longer. Um, enjoy the rest of your weekend with the kids in the, probably the shade, I'd imagine, not the sun anymore. Probably, yeah, <laughs> indoors, air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a lake. Just a second, Nathan. And um, just to tell you as well, thank you for everything you do for the one goal and uh, to everyone who's inv been involved with uh, our campaign so far. Can you show him? This is second, Nathan. This is second. Um, thank you to everyone who's been involved in the campaign so far, and we're, we it, it was such a success. We wanted to do a little bit of extra time because the Corona crisis is not over yet. Ow! Oh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to climb into my lap right now. So, um, just get bidding on these amazing jerseys. It's it's a uh, it's something that we we really appreciate of everyone who's been donating their, their kit and oh wait maybe <laughs> coming very close now um, so yeah keep an eye out for everyone uh, for all the new jerseys that are out there right now and then one could be yours amazing thank you very much Hedvig have a great yeah. weekend and I will definitely be over 
later on in the year to uh, come and watch the team. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Take good care. Enjoy the weekend. And okay. you <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> So yeah, thanks everyone. Thanks everyone for watching. Once again, this is up till next Wednesday and we're drawing next Sunday. Keep putting the money into the Rally Up campaign and the raffles. And yeah, you can find it at the one.